Hey guys, girls, and NB homies, I am the one who knocks, but you can call me Church. Welcome to Church on Monday, the show where I talk at you about shit I like, and this week, I like self-care and introspection. So, today, I'm going to be analyzing why I like the media that I like, uh, in particular, shows and movies about assholes who just can't stop being assholes, whilst I paint my nails. So this is actually the second time I'm painting my nails. I did so last weekend as well, uh, but I forgot the top coat, so it disintegrated within like three fucking days. So I'm gonna do that again and remember all four coats so that I can feel nice with my navy nails that match most of my clothing because I'm fucking blue team for life. So the bottom coat is the clear coat which basically writes itself as a fucking metaphor. You want to put a clear coat uh, on all the nails before you put on the color polish uh, so as not to stain your nails, which I can very obviously draw as a defense mechanism. You see, this first layer, it's got to be smooth, but really you can just kind of fucking scattershot it. And most post-postmodern critique of self-analysis has pointed out that we like to critique ourselves as harshly as we can before others can make the critique to try to declaw those external critiques against our own feelings. Don't blow on them, I learned, because it adds air bubbles, which can fuck up the entire thing. So we clear coat our flaws, allowing them to be seen, but not allowing them to be touched by the external critiques that might make us actually analyze how others observe those flaws, not just how we personally analyze them. Painting my nails is actually kind of a struggle for me because I don't know if you can tell, but my hands are very fucking shaky. And I get that from my mother. She always told me, you're never gonna be a fucking surgeon and I'm sorry. For some reason, we have this shakiness to our hands, always have, probably always fucking will. And it, it doesn't seem to be anything neurological, you know? They're just naturally shaky. This is the difficult one because I am left-handed, so I do much better painting the right nails. It is far more a struggle for me to get the left hand. But anyways, speaking of the clear coat, I do want to just kind of come out and say what my overall thesis is. Basically, I feel like an asshole. I feel like a piece of shit, and more days than not, I don't really like myself. Now, that is not to take the teeth out of any external critiques. I am fine hearing and integrating any person's opinion, and I will be taking that into account moving forward. I've always been pretty good at taking critique in stride, but... I've always been this kind of guy who just kind of does my own fucking thing anyway. So now we're going to let the clear coat dry before we put the color on. And while we do that, I just want to introduce the idea that I'm looking at here. You see, I was finishing up season two of Dave the other week when I realized this is really... The, a kind of show that I've watched a lot. You know, it, it's funny. It's pretty effective on that front. Uh, but it's also about an asshole protagonist being an asshole to everyone and trying to understand how not to be a fucking asshole. Trying and failing, of course. 
I'm just realizing that I'm gonna have a lot of fucking empty space in this episode that I'm gonna have to edit down. Whoop! Son of a bitch! Oh, right there. Now, I do want to put out a disclaimer that, uh, nobody should use this as a tutorial. Everything I'm doing is secondhand knowledge. I did no direct research. I got no information from professionals in cosmetics. I'm just a guy who works in pharmacy. And so I only work with women and I ask them, okay, how do I paint my nails? Cause I want to do it. Jesus Christ. They take a while to dry. I'm gonna have like a fucking hour of footage for this 20 minute episode. And it's gonna take forever to upload to the iCloud. Alright, I think my right hand is dry, so... Let's get some color on this bitch. So, I was asking myself, why do I watch so much media like this about just assholes being assholes and trying to understand how not to be assholes. And it came to me pretty quickly because, you know, I'm depressed most of the time. So I'm pretty well in touch with the idea of self-loathing. I often don't like myself and I think I'm a fucking asshole and I don't feel like I can get better. Oh man, I'm just slopping this shit on. Like, look at that. Look at that shit. I just have it all over. Oh well. You know, there's this woman in my life. Um, she's been in my life a long fucking time. And uh, I've been horrible to her in the past. And she just keeps giving me these second chances. And... I'm often worried that I'm just gonna keep fucking it up over and over again. But people seem to like me a lot and see something in me that's valuable beyond just the charm and wit. But most of the time, I'm just a sad, lonely, drunken asshole. And obviously, I've talked about the alcoholism before on here, but I haven't talked about why I make these videos, you know? And the truth is, I'm very lonely. And I like feeling like I have someone to talk to, even though I have a tiny fucking audience. And really, I have a lot of random people online who just don't like hearing my voice. I would rather just talk out into the void than feel so alone sometimes. My voice is exceptionally raspy right now because Colorado is on fucking fire. All right, got the right hand done. Let's let that dry a little bit before I get on to the left. Now, I will address now, I will address the gender thing, because obviously I'm a man painting my nails, and still in our society that's a little weird, but mimetically we can trace back the gendering of painted nails, I'm sure, just like genetically we can trace back our species to that mud-crawling amphibious fish who started the whole fucking land debate. Just like we can look directly at the video game crash in, was it the 80s? And Nintendo's attempts to restart the industry as the origins of the gendering of video games. So you might say it takes a man confident in his masculinity to paint his nails and feel comfortable with it. Um, but really, I like to look at it in the Jungian sense. It is balancing one's animus with one's anima. It's embracing the gendered role of it and taking it in to express one's true self. Oh shit, I got a little, little 
nugget on the bottom of my finger. So, really, what I'm saying is, I don't really give a fuck. I just like this style. Alright, that's layer one done on both hands. I will have another uh, layer of colored polish, and then this time I'll remember the clear coat on top. But really, I think I'm kind of done with our totally unconnected conversation about five different fucking things that are meant to analyze and open up my insecurities so that you guys can uh, discuss if you'd like or just enjoy and relate if you do so. Actually, this is probably going to be a pretty short one. I can, I can probably get into something else. Behind me is Dragon's Dogma. Actually, you guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about Dragon's Dogma, so I'll leave that for another time. Anyways, short one this week. Uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, stick around. I'll have more of this shit, but I'm also currently in the middle of covering the entirety of the Red vs. Blue web series. I'll be covering Season 4 uh, for this the next episode of COM. I'm trying to get some friends on for like a podcast-style review of one or more of these seasons, but you know how that goes. So, the usual like, share, and subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and as always, have a fantastic week. Love ya. Bye.